What's up, you guys? It's Matt here. So I'm really excited right now because I didn't get a chance to do a lot yesterday when it comes to making videos on cryptocurrency or on investments, really. But I saw a lot of things that were happening on, on Twitter. I could have made like shorts videos, I guess. But I was taking care of a, a child that had a little bit of a fever or not a little bit of a fever, a fever. And uh, I apologize for you know, not being there, especially during uh, some pretty decent sized movement in um, crypto. But we all know when it comes to this channel, family comes first, I make sure that I'm there for them. That's the whole reason why I chose to leave my nine to five to do this was to be here for my family, watch them grow up, watch, um, you know, them just get bigger. And, it, and it's still a shock being here every day, seeing them every day. Um, you know, it's still a shock seeing how big they get. But we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about cryptocurrency. Uh, cryptocurrency right now looks more green than the Christmas tree that we're gonna get in in like a month, two months, right? Um, it, it just looks great, right? I know that was a horrible joke, but it doesn't matter. It, it, it looks so green and it makes people feel excited. Now, uh, before we get into this video, I wanna let people know that it sucks when you see things grow or that's green and you're not a part of it. And that's where a lot of the FOMO will come in and a lot of people will end up buying at the peak points of a lot of these plays. Is it gonna continue to run? Boy, I hope so. I really hope that this continues to run all the way back up to, for Ethereum, back up to $5,000, for Bitcoin, back up to $70,000, and for a lot of other things like Kronos, back up to some of their all-time highs. I just wanna see them grow because we've been at these bottoms, these low points for such a long time. Um, so I just want to like kind of preface this uh, video by saying, look, um, don't FOMO into positions. I'm not saying that you can't invest into a position, but don't FOMO and go all in on a position while it's green, just because you see that it's green. Make sure you make the right decision and find times where it is retracing a little bit, invest in there, and you'll feel a little bit better about buying into it rather than buying at the peak point of that day or of that week or even of that month. Um, so anyways, guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out some of the links down below. It does help out the channel quite a bit. And if you guys want to follow me on Twitter, we're almost at uh, 13,000 followers. We are like 100 followers away from 13,000. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm excited about it. It's not really like a crazy milestone, like 20,000 or 30,000, but every thousand subscribers that I gain is just, it's just mind blowing to me. So thank you guys for, uh, you know, just being a part of that. Anyways, let's get into what's happening in the crypto market because it's always great. Sorry, there's a cat hair flying around. It's always great to see, um, uh, the crypto market green. Right. Currently, you're seeing it at um, $1.03 trillion market cap, which is great because it was really fighting around that 970, 970 billion to a trillion. It got to a trillion and really started to retrace and then ended up increasing again, got to a trillion again and, you know, held like kind of flat a little bit. And now we're seeing it sort of break that um, a little bit. And we're seeing it up 4.6%. Uh, yeah, if we scroll down here and look at Bitcoin's dominance, we're going to see that the dominance has decreased by 0.42%. Um, you can um, thank Ethereum for that. But you're looking at, uh, and other things, but you're looking at 39.09% dominance for Bitcoin, which I just hope it continues to decrease. I would like to see it. It doesn't have to completely give up dominance, um, but... I think it should be close to where Ethereum is. Both of them should be fighting at, you know, close to the same percentages, in my opinion. Now, if we scroll down and uh, look at some of the things that are moving in the markets, <clears throat> we're going to look at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's um, up about 3.66%, you know, to almost 21,000. You could see Ethereum over that 1600 mark. So from the level that, you know, we all saw this at, at like 1200, you know, now it's at 1600. So easily you've gained, you know, another uh, for 300, $400, uh, depending on when you bought in, but 300, $400, um, and that's per Ethereum. I bought three Ethereum at those low points. So I'm basically gaining an extra 300, $400, um, you know, per Ethereum that I have. So 
that's amazing to see that growth. But then you also have other things that are moving like B and B, you know, you have uh, XRP that's up, you have Dogecoin that's up, you have uh, Solana that's up, you have a uh, Polygon that's up. Um, Shiba Inu's up uh, 19% here. It's at 0.00001270. And that's good to see, especially for the people that bought in at the low point, which would actually add a zero. So if you're adding another zero, now you're looking at a, a decent size gain from where they were at their low points, um, or actually a big gain from where they were at their low points. Um, we can look at Litecoin, that's up 3.7%. Cosmos, I tweeted about this yesterday um, and talked about how Cosmos makes me feel all fuzzy inside. I mean, it, it, it does, right? I've invested in Cosmos, um, like this is twice now. One time I made a thousand plus dollars from it and now I'm on the verge of making that same amount, you know, investing in at um, 11, 12-ish dollars, growing up to uh, $13, gathering more via the APY over in the DeFi wallet. Uh, there's just so many positives that come with Cosmos. Um, <clears throat> I, I can't, I can't be upset with it. I really can't. Look at all this green that's in the market. Doesn't it just feel good when you have all this green in the market? It just looks fantastic. Kronos hasn't really moved too much. It's up 3%, but if you look at the last seven days, it's only up 7% while you see things like Ethereum Classic up 20, Cosmos up 17%, some other things that are moving quite a bit. Um, Algorand is up 5% today, 9% in the last seven days. Uh, we scroll down to Quant. Quant actually is one of the only ones that hasn't been moving, um, not too much. If you look at the last seven days, it's down 6%. And there's a reason for that, right? The reason is, um, the main reason, right? You're looking at how Quant, um, you know, ran while everything was falling. Quant was up like 4 or 5% while everything was down by 4 or 5% which was just insane. Then at some points it was up 14%, 15% while everything else was down. Like, I mean, the markets were down and, and Quant was making a move. So I'm excited for what's to come. I hope that we see this continue, um, but Ethereum looks really good. I'm glad I made that investment into Ethereum because uh, what I planned to do was just continue to invest into Ethereum. I think now I'll be done investing into Ethereum because I did buy it at sort of the lower points. It still is a low point, but you know where I invested in at, I, I just can't get past the fact that if I if it comes back down to those levels, well now that's a three hundred or four hundred dollar loss and whatever I invest into now. So it's it's always tricky. I don't try and invest on green days and I would not invest on a day like this up eight point three three percent in Ethereum. I'm excited though. I'm excited to see everything that happens here. So hit the like button, guys, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell for more of these videos. I'm going to have a bunch of other videos that come out today. So make sure you guys stay tuned for those. And again, if you guys want to follow me on Twitter at Perry AK, you can follow me there. Uh, don't forget about my Patreon link is in the description. We definitely will get back um, on that train. It's been extremely difficult to upload a lot of videos because of, you know, Hayden being sick first for a whole week and then Harper now having or had a fever. She doesn't have a fever today, but had a fever. So um, it, it's definitely, definitely tough to, to manage and I'll figure out the best way to do that. But the only way that I'll be able to clear things up for Patreon and for everything else is if I do have that, you know, free time to do so. So um, yeah. Guys, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.